guys it's me so welcome back to my kitchen I'm doing two things kind of simultaneously I've got some chicken chicken thighs which are my favorites I love the legs too but the thighs when you're cooking these kinds of things are getting better flavor so I've got the crock pot heating up for the saute thing to start the soup and I'm going to be baking some of this chicken for supper now I am going to use uh, TJ Miller I will leave you a link to his channel in the bottom <sighs> eyeball uh, he very generously sent me some Lakota's barbecue rub you don't see it you guys this stuff smells so good I actually used this on some pork chops a few days ago and then I accidentally deleted the video so the light behind me is glaring let me go turn it off okay yeah that's better for y'all okay so anyway I thought and I had promised him a video which I did I did do the video on pork chops but because my stupid butt accidentally deleted it I gotta make another video so I thought we'll do this on the chicken so we're gonna make barbecued baked chicken so I'm gonna turn the camera down and show you this is gonna be super super simple you guys um, we've got his spice mix and just because just because I love black pepper I'm gonna add a little black pepper too but let me shoot you guys down a little bit So here's the chicken, obviously way more than I can eat in one meal, but most of this is going over there in the stock. So I'm going to take a few of these, whatever will fit in this little square pan, which is probably about four. Oh, there's the pot getting ready for the saute. Yeah, I might can fit a fifth, fourth one in here. So, we got enough in there, right? That's enough for supper. Let me rinse my hands, you guys. Anytime you're working with poultry, make sure you are washing your hands in between. Because the last thing you want to do is contaminate your spice bottles or your utensils. So, I'm going to do a generous portion of this. This is so, oh my gosh, it is so good, you guys. Seriously. And like you said, I'm going to do a generous portion. And there's the oven heated. And just because I love black pepper, his spice really doesn't need any other spices. It is so good. But I love black pepper. So what I'm going to do is take this. Now, you don't need a whole bunch of oil because this is chicken, right? But I do want just a splash on top like this. And the reason I do that is it allows me a base to really rub this into the meat to get it to stick on here. Smells good already and then you've been in the oven yet. And I also find that helps me get a really nice crispy crust on here. So let me rinse my hands one more time. And I have some foil. I am gonna cover this up with foil. Now those are five fairly large thighs and they are thick and they're you know in the pan kind of tight these are going to cook for at least an hour yeah at 350 so i'm going to put these in the oven and i will be back when they're done and i'll show you the rest of supper see you in a bit okay guys supper is done take a look barbecued baked chicken shells and cheese and some green beans so 
Hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you'll give it a try. Get a hold of TJ Miller if you want to try this seasoning. It is this spice is so good, you guys. Seriously, it is so good. So if y'all want to try it, <laughs> oh my god, that is so freaking good. Y'all need to get a hold of TJ Miller. I will leave a link down below for you guys to contact him. So have a great day, have a great night, and I will see y'all on the next video.